Families continue sharing their stories of survival. Five News reporter Jose Carranza sat down with a couple who were badly hurt when the tornado hit Decatur. They say it's still hard to think about knowing it was the widest tornado in Arkansas history. These cinder blocks symbolize the power of Sunday's storm as the mobile home that sat right here was thrown to the other side of Carlton Drive with a couple still inside. This is their story. He looked out of the back door and he said, there's no time. The seconds went by quickly for Jesse and Renee Pointer. Their dog whining, missed texts and calls on their phone, and then the call from a family friend saying they needed to take cover from a tornado heading their way. He put us in our laundry room and he covered me up and about 20 seconds later, the whole house started swaying and just flipped. <laughs> Everything went black. I mean, we don't know if we blacked out or that's just what it looks like inside one. I don't, we don't know. It took first responders hours to clear a pathway to those on Carlton Drive, but the pointers say another survivor helped lead them to safety. Crews used backboards to carry the pointers a mile, then strapped to a tractor and eventually taken to an area hospital. Nearly a week later, their wounds from the tornado are still healing. She ended up having a fractured elbow. Uh, bruised brain, liver, and then, um, yeah, and I had some hematomas throughout my body on the inside and uh, broken back in five places, fractured. The pointers say the rest of their family was spared from the storm with Jesse's brother and two children all away from home. He was working, um, our son was with his other dad and my daughter was with her mom. And that was one of the first thoughts that I had was I'm not gonna see them again, so. Yeah, that was a rough thing to think about. <laughs> yeah. There may be no house for them to come home to right now, but Jesse and Renee say they found a place in their community and a place in their heart for love. Everyone has been incredible, so helpful, and just the amount of love. We love you. <laughs> yeah. All of you. Um, Everyone. <laughs> And thank you is not even enough. No. I don't know what is. Like, I don't, I don't know. But we definitely love them all. Even the strangers. I mean, we've had strangers <laughs> helping us. Indicator, covering news where you live. Jose Carranza, 5 News. My goodness, the pointers say they're still at a local motel for now, and they've been offered a bunch of places to stay, but they do tell us they plan to rebuild at that location in due time.